Hey guys, this is Stefan for Raw Exchange. Today I'm going to show you how to create a magnifying glass in Photoshop. Well, actually I'm not creating a magnifying glass, but I'm creating uh, something to show you how to show details on high resolution images because you might have the problem that you want to show your work on social networks, for example, Facebook. And you have the problem that the resolution of your artwork is probably pretty high. And re the resolution on Facebook is with its 960 pixels very, very, well, crappy. So there is a solution for this and I'm going to show you the process. So I've opened an image here and this image is pretty large. It's 10,000 by 7,500 pixel. So it's 80 megapixel and the amount of detail here is insane. Um, and of course I want to show this on Facebook, but if I uh, rescale it, let's rescale it to Facebook. Facebook has 960 pixel on the white side. Um, that's what the people see. And well, as you can see, the resolution is um, when I go to 100% here, it's like this. Before, the 100% view is like this. So you have insane amount of details. Um, and of course, I want to show this. So what I'm doing is I press Command A and select everything. Command C to copy it. Now I have this image in my um, memory and I can rescale it to the 960. So now I have this small image and what I'm doing now is I'm pressing Command or Control V for pasting. So now this is an overlay and if I press Command T I have the, um, the border here so you can see how large it really is and it's amazing. So. Um, what I want to show is this chewing gum or whatever it is and I want to show this uh, to the people how insane the resolution of this file is. So what I'm doing is I have pasted this on top of my background layer and the background layer is the small one. So this one is the small one and this one is the large one. So I'm using my a masking tool, the marquee tool, elliptical marquee tool. And the marquee tool I can make um, yeah, this kind of um, selections. I, if I press shift, I get uh, well the same height as width. And I, if I press alt, I can start from the middle. And this is what I'm using. So I start from here, pressing alt and shift and well, select everything for before that and pressing alt and shift and start to do my selection here so now i have a round selection and i'm creating a mask so i can move this around of course i can also deselect this one this little uh, connector here so i can move the mask around or if I press on the image, I can move the image inside of the mask. If I want to move both, I just reconnect them and can play around with that. So to make it more exciting, I'm, I will add some shadow and a little outline. And to do this, I'm going to do a right click on this layer and go to my blending options. In the blending options, I have, well, where is it? I have the stroke and with the stroke size I can make the size of this. I think one pixel is awesome and I make it a little bit, well, putting down the opacity a little bit, so 50%. And then I'm adding a drop shadow, so creating a little bit more of 3D effect here. Also, I can move this around and this is very funny. So 
I can also use the line tool and create a little arrow to show this is this point here. Um, to create an arrow, I have this little gear here and I can say, okay, I want to have uh, an arrowhead at the end of my line. I think the size should be 300% and the length also 300%. So let's see how it looks. Looks like this. This is awesome. But of course, I want to have it in the same uh, amount of the line of the stroke. So it's like this. Maybe I will make this a little bit larger. 1000% and the uh, length as well. So I have this one. This looks nice. So get rid of the th three layers and I can simply add this little arrow here and make it invisible um, behind, the, uh, behind my magnifying glass. I just put it below this. So, and this is how I create my little magnifying glass to show the real resolution of my images on Facebook. This was Stefan with a quick uh, tutorial for RAW Exchange. Have a nice day. Bye bye. If you like some more cool movies, you can check out this one and this one, and you can subscribe to us down here.